Good morning and welcome to Daryl Arat Cafe. I'm your host Daryl Arat. Well, as you can hear, I'm still kind of stuffed up in my uh, sinuses and whatnot. And uh, I think it rained all last night. But anyway, I am really hungry right now, so uh, if you're having breakfast, uh, feel free to uh, join me. If not, well, this is what I do in the morning. I eat breakfast. And I'm really hungry, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's dig in. Mmm. Oh, that first bite is always the best one, isn't it? Oh. Well, I'm going to have to... Uh, Definitely take my garbage out this morning. Let me get back here a little. My nose is running too, which makes it even worse. Why is it that when your nose is all stuffed up, it runs too? It's like, oh, well, you know what happened last night when I was taking a shower? I, uh, expelled uh, something out of my nose came out of uh, this side of my nose in the shop worker pretty gross eh especially when you're eating in the morning these two big blobs of orange goop came out of my nose and all of a sudden my my head was all clear and I could breathe and it was like wow what the hell was that but uh, for about a minute or so, I felt uh, totally uncongested, and I could I could breathe. It was like there was nothing in my head, you know. There was nothing stuffing up my uh, sinuses and whatnot. And you know, I wasn't talking about my brain or anything like that. But uh, you know, that's how I felt. I felt totally free of congestion, and I could uh, breathe better than I ever could breathe before. And it lasted for a minute or so, and then uh, eventually uh, it sort of like all come tumbling down like like a John Cougar Mellencamp song. And I wound up, uh, you know, feeling the same way, except I was a little, I felt a little better. But uh, the fact that I couldn't keep feeling the way I was feeling, totally clear-headed and able to breathe, breathe completely... Uh, free of obstruction or anything like that. So I got a deviated septum. A deviated septum. I can't even have difficulty pronouncing words here. Combination of uh, stuffed up nose and uh, bad maritime accent, I think. Mmm. Excuse me while I... Uh, resume my eating <sighs> it's terrible when you let yourself get really hungry and then you feel you gotta really devour it like you were some sort of animal mm. so that was very interesting something uh happening like that. I, it was totally unexpect, uh, unexpected as well. So, happy hump day. You know, until about, uh, when was it was back in the late 80s, I think back in 1989 was the first time I ever heard the expression hump day. I was working as a as a cleaner on a, uh, on an Air Force base, was in there. Yeah, I think it was in it. It's in uh, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, at uh, Shearwater. Yeah, Shearwater International Air Force Base. I think it was. Never talk with your mouth full. And um, this woman that I worked with, one of the women. We were like, it was a contract, and we belonged to a cleaning company, the same cleaning company. 
a bunch of us, and we we got the contract uh, at the Air Force Base, and uh, well, I had uh, this one one building that I was responsible for cleaning. And one day this woman said it was, uh, I guess it was a Wednesday, it must have been a Wednesday, and she said, uh, she called, she mentioned, uh, she called it hump day, and I was like, I almost wanted to say, what, hump day? But I kind of got it, because it was the middle of the week, so therefore, hump day. But also I thought it had some sort of association with money, because it was coming from a woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Payday must have been on a Wednesday somewhere in time because, you know, oh, it's hump day, honey. Time to give me time to pay the rent. Oh, oh, oh man. I was thinking yesterday, I stare too much at myself when I'm uh, recording these videos. I thought, uh, if I could just get away from that habit and stare less at the camera or uh, at the video while it was recording. See, in the daytime, I do it because I'm making sure I'm always making sure I'm um, I'm getting um, or I'm in the light. So that because if I sit in the daytime when the sun is up and I, if I sit back here, you can't see me. I, I'm like in a shadow. So I got to sit on top of the... Uh, on top of the computer in order to get any light but in the morning when I got the uh, when it's still dark and I got the light on overhead I can uh, I can sit further back here but I'm still casting my head is casting a shadow because the light is right over top of me and so I got the shadow here on what's on this side so you know if I could just uh, find if I could not I like to uh, you got, I guess you got to be conscious of the fact that the camera's on you, but uh, I got to try to work on uh, my sort of my. Uh, it's in the in in the business. It's called your relationship with the camera. So that's what I need to work on. I need my, need to work on my relationship, of course. And I got the reflection from my glasses too, from the computer screen. So that's also showing up as well. So, got to kind of try to avo avoid that. So there's a lot of different factors going on here. Ah, the T. The T. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Oh. Well, I'm drawing a blank now. I don't know why. My mind just went blank. Ever since that guy, I'm starting to feel conscientious about somebody out there using my videos to make fun at me every time I think something or I say something it's reminding me of those videos that that guy made and now I'm feeling a little self-conscious about what I'm doing now it's like gee I wonder if there's anybody editing my video and uh, you know just don't put it to, I think they busted you there for copyright man you're using the uh, you're using songs that you don't have permission to use to uh, to make videos. I should know. I, I played a song in the background while I talked one day and I got an email telling me that uh, I couldn't do that and they totally uh, I had no, they totally voided the audio on my video. It was like 10 minutes long and I had to add a song from the YouTube where you they let you add songs to your videos if you want to, the ones that you, they have uh, permission to use. So that's what I did. So anyway, we're running out of time again. So this is Daryl Arat here at Daryl Arat Cafe wishing you a good day. We'll see you later on. Bye for now.